Hi, this is C4D to M4D, where we show you how to convert your Cinema 4D scene into M4D iRay or Metal Ray. Today we present you a scene that Pavel has sent us. This scene presents some very interesting features that will yield great results when rendering with the GPU accelerated iRay. As you can see, we've got a beautiful interior scene here. The default render settings use Cinema's physical renderer. The render time is pretty high. To use M4D iRay, we simply create a new render setting and switch to iRay Renderer. After rendering the scene with iRay for the first time, we see nothing. Why is that? Let's have a look at the scene. The camera that is used for this shot is actually outside of the room. It still works with the physical renderer because near plane clipping is enabled. iRay does not support near plane clipping, so we have to disable it and move the camera slightly inside. Now let's render the scene again. As you can see, there is some baking going on. We'll optimize that later. Now we can already see the first results. iRay is a physical correct render engine. This means that sometimes light may behave differently from other render engines. And some light sources won't work as expected. Also, you can see that some of the materials have to be optimized to work properly with iRay. But first, let's have a look at the lights. Let's disable all the existing lights in the scene and add Mantle Ray Physical Sky instead. With M4D Physical Sky you can define your desired local daytime. Sun color, intensity and position will be adjusted accordingly. After deleting the sun tag you can rotate and place the sun to make the light fall through the window. For a correct result, we have to disable the blurriness on the glass material. Also, we have to disable the additional glass element in the window. Right now, we won't see any light on the floor, because we haven't adjusted materials yet. As you can see, the scene uses stacked materials. While M4D Metal Ray does support stacked materials, iRay does not. Selections are supported, so we only have to delete one material. To get better control over the material, we convert it into a mere material. We can darken it by adding a color to the layer shader and multiply it onto the shader. As the scene appears slightly dark, we'll turn back on some of the lights, but we have to reduce their intensity. As you can see, the furniture is still black. This is because the materials are also stacked here. So we simply have to delete the top material to make the base material appear. Inside the base material we take a look at the reflection channel. Here we discover a layer shader including a Fresnel shader, which cannot be baked for iRay. So we suggest converting it into a Mia material again. Because here 
we can delete the whole layer setup and define the reflection behavior with proper BRDF parameters, which MIA material provides. The same issue occurs with the chair. Selecting this material, we find again a Fresnel shader in the reflection channel. We can also convert this material into a MIA material to optimize the reflection settings. Finally, we'll adjust the luminance effects. This material is again converted into a mere material. For an intense effect in iRay, we have to increase the intensity of the luminance. Now we can interactively explore our scene and find the best spot for our camera. Finally, let's do some fine tuning. We can add some reflections to the window material. And we can increase the intensity of the sky. To render the final image, we'll enter our desired render resolution, define a rendering time of 10 minutes, and turn on our available CUDA hardware, in this case, a Tesla card. After a short time, you can already see the final result. Just add some more minutes to refine the image. Thanks for watching. If you also want to have your scene rendered with iRay or Mantelray, feel free to contact us.